Oh, Wolfen, it's like you know how easily led astray I am. What's going on guys? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be painting up one of our favorite muffled gas mask noise boys with a gas mask of my own. And before you say it, I know it's a respirator. Get off my back. I'll save you right in that comment out now. Oh, rig, I think you'll find. I know. <laughs> All right. And to make it a little bit harder for myself, instead of using the GSR that I already have, I've gone and bought myself a finish respirator so it's a little bit more obscuring on vision let's see what happens and most importantly of all guys please remember to subscribe subscribe leave a like share it around to your friends because if you're enjoying this i'm sure they will as well and if you have any further suggestions there's a comment section down below let's get on with it so as just mentioned before, this is the GSR or the General Service Respirator. It's got pretty good vision. Uh, if you've ever worn an S10, you know that that's uh, the vision's okay. Um, <laughs> but to mix things up and make it a little bit harder for myself, I've gone for this Finnish Respirator. It's got quite, it's not got the best vision in the world. There's a weird crossover effect that you get in the center of your vision. As long as you maintain a perfect seal, you don't really have fogging issues. Um, being a bearded man, I did have a slight fog issue with this one, as it's only a single seal system. But there's a bit of scratching on the lenses. You will see me sort of leaning in weirdly close. Anyway, let's get going and get building. And it'd be a bit rude if I made this model without wearing the mask as well. So this is from start to finish <laughs> wearing a goddamn gas mask. Uh, what have I let myself in for? Ah, yes. The point of realization of how much I stick a paintbrush in my mouth. <laughs> so I ended up uh, cycling through quite a few different brushes to try and keep that fine tip that we like to get from sticking it in, well, that I like to get from sticking it in my mouth and creating that fine point. So I cycled through a few till I got to one that I eventually stuck with. <laughs> and I now know that that is a good brush that I don't need to keep sticking in my gob. Nah, the more you know.
Well, if you stayed this long, I'll give you a little treat. And this treat is my favorite method, quick, easy, and effective way of doing worn paint on metals. So this plasma gun, I imagine the paint, you know, it's probably been well used, handed from Kriegsman to Kriegsman. As one dies, the other one picks it up. It's getting bashed and battered. So the way I like to do faded paint is paint the whole surface metal. Uh, so in this case, I've done lead belcher and then put norm all over it. Once that's dried, I'm doing a rather thinned down word bearer red on top of that. Now, you don't want to cover all the metal and you want to keep it a nice thin layer. So as you can see, you still will be able to see the silver underneath. Once you've done that, let that dry. It shouldn't take too long. And then go over some of the more central areas, keeping away from the edges with Mephiston Red. And I like to think that gives it a really nice worn metal effect. Super easy. If I've managed to figure it out and I can do it, I'm pretty certain you guys out there can do it as well. Well, that's one way to spend a Monday evening. <laughs> oh, guys, I've really enjoyed doing this little challenge. This has actually turned out to be one of my favorite Kriegers that I've painted up so far. I really like the OSL effect that I've done on it. Got any more suggestions for me? Stick them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to read them and give them a go. As always, like, share, subscribe, and I really do hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>